windows. Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to day 25 of the December 31. Today, we will be taking a look at Transformers Legacy Core Class G2 Megatron. And to begin, this is a really nice tank mode. You would be surprised how often Hasbro messes up tank modes. But something about him over here seems a bit off. Oh, that's probably why there's no wheels at the bottom. I'm sure that this won't cause any paint chipping in the future. Aside from that, I really like how the turret and the gun works in vehicle mode. It's also impressive how small they were able to get the Generation 2 Decepticon logos. And at the end of it all, the whole point of this figure is to be a fun desk toy. It's the same thing with Beachcomber. Fun and simple. And I get the exact same vibe from Megatron. As for size comparisons, here he is next to... Generation 1 Beachcomber. Kingdom Pipes. As well as Legacy Laser Prime. Transformation does have a puzzle factor to it. And uh, tolerances can be a bit annoying at times. But it's a desk toy. And over the last month, I have come to really enjoy his transformation. Seeing as how I have never owned the Kingdom version, I was blown away by how much fun is in a $12 figure. And on the chest, you have some silver paint and orange paint picking out the details. Unfortunately, there is no Decepticon badge here. One shall stand, and one shall fall. But Prime, don't you see? I'm no Decepticon. <laughs> this is what I do with my free time. And as for size comparisons, here he is next to Legacy Core Class Optimus Prime, Legacy Core Class Skywarp, as well as Legacy Core Class Iguanus. As for my final thoughts, I highly recommend G2 Megatron here, more so than the Kingdom version. But let me know what you think down below. As for me, that's all I have for you today. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all tomorrow. And Merry Christmas.